Hello drone friends, this is Alan at UAV Coach and Drone Pilot Ground School. Happy Friday morning, welcome to another week uh, in the wonderful world of drones and our Drone Weekly News Roundup show. This week we're going to talk about three stories. Uh, first, a series of product launches from the DJI Enterprise team uh, announced earlier this week. Then is Canon getting into drones? Hmm, I'll chat a little bit about that. Lastly, the FAA is looking for input on vertiports to help build taxi drone infrastructure here in the U.S. All right, let's jump in. DJI announced the Matrice 30 drone, DJI Dock, and Flight Hub 2 at their Enterprise event on Monday. The Matrice 30 or M30 is built for emergency services and designed to be a more compact version of the M300. Some notable changes include the camera sensor being a 48 megapixel half inch sensor versus the M300's 20 megapixel 1 by 1.7 inch sensor, and the ability for the M30 to be used during rain, snow, or even icy conditions. Uh, it comes with a new RC Plus controller and it'll be compatible with the other products that DJI announced uh, during the event. Now, Flight Hub 2 is DJI's drone management software that is completely cloud-based. So flight management uh, viewing uh, can be done from web browser, mobile device, not just the pilot's remote controller standing there flying the drone. This is pretty cool because now everyone involved in the drone operation can log in to the same mission and see data captured by the drones and the pilots in real time. Yes, there are other software platforms out there that already do this, but it's interesting to be seeing this come from DJI directly. Okay, so now the DJI Dock, which is their kind of drone in a box solution, uh, it can make it so the drone is programmed to take off, fly, execute tasks during missions, and automatically start recharging after landing. The Dock's fast charging and battery cooling system lets this happen in just 25 minutes. So land, charge for 25 minutes, and take off with a fully charged battery. Again, these kinds of systems are already out there, but this is the first time we've seen an automated charging dock from DJI. Yes, I know many folks have anti-DJI sentiments for a variety of reasons, but I personally continue to be impressed with their ability to launch products and to keep pushing drone technology forward. Okay, speaking of new drones, Canon recently submitted a patent for a camera that can be mounted on a drone. The patent describes the ability for the camera to tilt, pan, and track subjects automatically. Canon is one of the biggest, most well-established camera manufacturers out there. It'll definitely be big news if they decide to break into the drone industry. I'm actually shooting this video on my trusty Canon right now. Now, Canon has not made any official statement as to whether or not they will be entering the drone market, but if they do, uh, it would be fun to see what kind of drone they do decide to launch. Lastly, the FAA is currently collecting input on the development of vertiports which we've talked about on the show before, but basically they are airports made solely for taxi drones, uh, passenger drones. In a recent tweet, the FAA wrote, flying taxis are coming, but where will they take off and land? The answer is called a vertiport, and we want your feedback by April 18th on safety standards and design requirements. The FAA will actually be holding a virtual vertiport design industry day meeting next week on the 29th, which will provide an opportunity for attendees to ask questions on the FAA's engineering brief. We'll link more details below on how you can register for that free virtual meeting. All right, folks, that's all we have for this week. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on the latest drone industry news. Remember to check out the links below for more information. As always, thank you so much for watching and to all the drone pilots out there, blue skies and safe flying.